welcome, Cancer, to your beginning of the month reading of four. May hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. This reading will be for the 6th through the 14th and straight into that mid-month. So let's see what's going on. 6th through the 14th, please, for Cancer. This message. And remember, friends, this is for your sun, moon, or rising. And if it doesn't resonate with you, you can always watch one of the other videos uh, for your rising moon or Venus. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Taking steps. Taking the steps has some kind of intention um, going on around it to where it's saying the intentions that I have going on for the beginning of the month is definitely taking these small steps. So and it feels like you know there's going to be some small steps to take before you can get to this castle over here, right, um, to whatever your intention is. Um, so let's see what's going on. And small steps are going to be needed no matter what because this is definitely not something that you're going to just jump right into. Okay, so clarifying on this situation is letting go for the great achievement and discovering something. Wow. So letting go and having this greater achievement in your head of taking these steps towards that, it's definitely, you know, it's almost like you know that there's going to be this discovery over here. You know what the intention is. You know that, hey, if I, if I do this and I do that, it's going to lead to something better, something way better than what I have. Um, and you're definitely going to find that. It's going to take the where you felt something was decreasing and it's going to increase your life. Um, yeah, there was something that was just not fun anymore. We're the great achievement and you're saying I've lost all the joy. I've lost all the happiness within that situation. I have to go for something bigger, better, um, you know, and really discover this, uh, this place that I need to be or this person, this situation through the dark thoughts. It's like, I don't have any negative thoughts about this situation because what you are going to discover or what you are looking to discover, um, comes with all kinds of great things within it. It's almost like opening up a box within a box. It's almost like you get this birthday gift and it's so awesome and inside of it you open it up and then there's a smaller box inside of it. So it's it's the box within a box. And there could even be a prize within the big box. So it could be like, you know, I open up this box, there's this awesome shirt inside of it. As soon as I take that awesome shirt out, there's this tiny little box, right? And that's where the jewel is going to be. So it's definitely a discovery upon a discovery. And it's like you know this though, right? Because it's saying it causes more increase. So definitely, it's going to put you at this milestone to where you're feeling, yeah, that there's nothing else you need to do at this time. There's no travel involved. There's nothing that you really have to go after at this time because you've already traveled there, right? So with the great gratitude. And this is something that's going to lead to great gratitude as well because you know that this new beginning is starting and this new idea, this new um, discovery is adding so much new um, to your life but it is definitely something that you need. If this is a partnership, then you're going to say, you know, I'm just done. You know, I'm, I'm just done. I have this great discovery. And what you're going to discover is that this person is, <laughs> it could have been a diamond in a rough, and then you realize how shiny they really, really are, right? So, uh, see what's going on over here. But definitely knowing that it's just, it's done. There's too much going on over here. I just cannot do this anymore. You feel like there's either too much deceit or they're always trying to steal your joy and happiness away from you. And there's just nothing there for you um, with this other situation, right? So, yeah, you're having these thoughts and you're really cutting through everything to get to your great achievement. So there's going to be a lot of communication and a lot of really putting yourself onto the right path and really taking the high road for yourself. The communication that you're going to have, even within your own mind, right, is pretty much telling you, you know, I just know it. I just know that if I, if I stop messing around over here, this could have so much more because it's already showing me that there's so much more now discovering what, you know, more is. It's more communication. It's the communication that you want. It has better success. There's better promotions. There's just, it's better all the way around. And it's going to bring in that joy and happiness where you weren't feeling there was any fun or there's no joy. And you know that this is going to happen. Um, yeah, there it is. And it is. It's being in the knowing and knowing exactly what you want to be or who you want to be with. 
it's almost like it's by no accident that this is going to happen. I do not feel like this is some kind of coincidence. It feels like this is one of those things that it's like, this is meant to be, um, you know, all you have to do is think about what it is you truly want. And then that door is already open. It's almost like the door sitting open with those doors open. You just need to walk through it and take those steps towards it. I feel like a lot of times, it, you know, for a lot of you, this door has been open for days now. And it's just whether or not you're going to actually take the steps to get there. So if you know that there's some kind of better loving communication between you and, you know, maybe an Aquarius or a Gemini, you're going to want to take on this action, right? But you're just really going to have to get down to the problem, problem solving of knowing that this is what's holding me back. So getting over here, it's saying where there was a decrease in any kind of joy within your life, you're finding that this joy is really increasing and you're finding a more joyous place. There's just going to be a lot of reflection to the situation where you have the nine of swords, which is saying, I cannot surrender to this situation anymore. I have to back out because this door is already open. There's going to be many decisions and many other things coming along the way um, during the, uh, the beginning of the month as well. So you figure by the time you get, you know, probably this weekend or so, it might be Sunday, um, you're going to find that there's something going on around the situation where you're saying, you know, I, I've just, I've really had enough. But you really have to put yourself into that situation of knowing, right? It's kind of like kicking a dead horse. The dead horse is not getting up to do anything. It's dead, right? So you could really definitely have it with that feeling of kicking a dead horse. I can kick it and kick it and kick it, but it never moves. It's not going anywhere. It's dead. So where the dark thoughts, you know, are continually, you know, holding you back um, from the situation and maybe may not allowing you to take these steps, it's saying, no, I want you to free yourself, refresh your thoughts, refresh yourself, and go ahead and take this, you know, take this move. Start the steps now. And there's definitely some kind of steps that you really, truly, my friends, really need to take this step. It's going to have more affection. There's so much affection, so much love, so much inner peace. And it's really, you're going to find this self-soothing within the hermit over here to the Ace of Pentacles where you're going to feel that inner peace starting to come through. And this is where you're really going to feel like, you know, I've been kind of delaying the process. I've been delaying it because I haven't been taking the moves to this. Maybe you're, I'm trying to hold on to two, right? Two both scenarios as one, um, depending on what it is. So having the milestone is allowing you to really look out and say, this is what, this is what life is really about this month, right? This is really, I really want and allowing yourself to make those decisions to really put your hand onto a different wand, right? Really taking your hand off of this and saying, I let go of that, um, so that I can move forward. With the judgment over here, you're having this kind of call over here that is saying this is a healthy judgment call for yourself. Um, this is definitely a blessing where you have now taken the steps to do so. Um, you might even have this person who's calling you in who wants to do um, maybe some traveling and you're not really maybe feeling like traveling at this time because it says right now is not the time to travel. Um, it's not the biggest travel time right now in the beginning of the month. Um, you know, you can always, yes, you know, you can always... Uh, point the finger in a different direction and say, maybe we should do it at the end of the month, you know, um, or maybe next month, because right now it's not the perfect uh, travel. Um, this other person, it could be, if it's a situation with a person, could be actually also pointing the finger at you, wondering why you have moved away from them, um, wondering why you have done what you've done, and where did you come up with this conclusion um, that we were not going to have any kind of solution or any kind of retaliation to this situation and but it definitely is it's it's the you know it's it's definitely this progress that you're making um, that you know I'm just tired of the way you talk to me or the way we handle each other it could just be a mutual thing too we just don't connect as people we don't have enough interest or something of the nature um, but with the great gratitude <clears throat> You definitely feel like you have the ball back in your hand and you're feeling more powerful and more in the authority of the things that you're really looking for. You're going to find a lot of authority too when you're taking these steps. Um, like I said, if this person wants to continue to try to, um, you know, 
get involved with a situation where you've pretty much taken them out of a situation, yeah, there could be definitely some finger pointing um, to that. But I also see you finger pointing towards travel next month for over is getting this message that they want to go traveling. Um, but it's just a reminder with the King of Wands to stay on, on top of everything and make sure that you have the ball in your court and make sure that you're, you know, not stressing too much and that you're doing the things that you need to do and taking actions with great gratitude and really, you know, feeling the blessings that are coming through for the new beginning. Because it's definitely something that you're not going to not feel. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you're going to feel it because there's going to be this overwhelming kind of freedom feeling from that connection because the more you're not dealing with that connection anymore, the more you're going to feel stress-free. So this will give you the opportunities to take the time to really, you know, make new plans, plant new seeds, reevaluate the situation of what's going on, reevaluate what is the next move, what are the next steps that I want to take, and it's just going to really show a lot, show a lot to you. Um, you know, and this could also be maybe even reevaluating, you know what, I want to take time now to go out with friends, you know, or this person, you know, we can go to the movies, enjoy snacks, we enjoy a lot of things together, and just really reevaluating this whole situation as, wow, this really is a discovery in a diamond because we really enjoy a lot of the same things, we're really taking it, you know, taking it kind of more easy, you know, maybe they don't, you know, fight with me, um, you know, I don't feel like I have my guard up. I don't feel like they're going to come and steal my swords, you know, however it is, they're over opinionated, however it is, but there's this more courage that's building up around you. Um, and if it's a love relationship, I tell you right now, they're going to think you are super sexy, um, right? Because, you know, or maybe it's even the way, other way around. If you feel like they're the king of wands, he's putting all this extra courage into you, that courage is sexy, right? There's a sexy kind of courage going on over here, um, which is really, you know, mystifying in its own way um you're really gonna find that we see that right and that's really going to make you move forward for justification yeah so hey could you be dealing with the libra but i just feel this kind of like towards the end of the month if it dev or the end of the um beginning of the month excuse me around the 10th through the 13th that there's just i don't know there's just really sexy energy going on over here um and that's because the vibration is higher you're feeling better you guys are vibrating together if it's a if it's a romantic relationship but i feel like even if it's not a romantic relationship you might even be feeling sexier you know what i mean allowing that venus to come through and just really making you feel um sexy right you might even be dressing a little more sexy because you feel free you feel good right i'm gonna put on my makeup i'm gonna put on my little red dress i'm gonna go out i'm going clubbing i'm doing this i'm doing that you see what i'm saying so there's something definitely no matter what about your vibration that is making you into this little sexy person. <laughs> and the world's going to see that, you know, no matter what. No matter what. And I see this, all this red over here. So I keep thinking, little red dress, let's go. Okay. Or that maybe a little red tie. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It depends on if you're the leather jacket guy or are you the, uh, you know, suit guy. I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. I like them both. So. Anyways, till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.